we get good attendance at the coyote meetings that we have and i get a lot of questions about coyotes um, everything from folks in urban areas that are reaching out about seeing them more often all the way to uh, you know sheep producers goat producers and and cattle producers that are losing uh, young livestock to predation too they have tripled in abundance since the late 80s so definitely a lot more common um, we also see a lot more in urban environments one of the things that has allowed coyotes to be so successful is they're just very adaptable um, you know we typically think about coyotes as being predators where they're really omnivores they eat a lot of insect matter um, they they eat fruits they eat vegetables they do eat lots of animal matter too but they're also good at capitalizing on human byproducts like trash and things. So in, in cities, they're, they're very well able to make a living. We do get peaks in contacts from producers during lambing time. And, and it's not just lambing time, it's when the lambs are small during the summertime when coyotes are raising pups and they have that demand for larger food sources. And then also, you know, we get cattle producers reaching out about losses to predation during spring and fall calving season. So the, the calves are really at risk only for, you know, probably a couple of weeks, whereas the lambs and kids are at risk for a longer period of time because, you know, the, the calves are sort of at the top end of the, the normal prey range for a, for a coyote you know, from the beginning. The spring and the fall are when we often see peaks in abundance of the rodents that they prey on, which is the primary food source that, that coyotes capitalize on would be rodents and, and, uh, and rabbits. Um, and then into the early fall, then we start seeing some of the, the wild fruits like plums in other parts of the state, persimmons and those sorts of things. Um, and then, you know, through the winter, they're going to spend most of their time eating those rodents and rabbits again. And then in the spring, that's when, when fawns and those sorts of critters become available too. But when we look at the, at the abundance trends, they've definitely increased threefold since, um, since the fur boom um, ended, the, the fur market crash in the late 80s. But when we look at um, other predators that were actually more popular fur items during that time, we don't see the same thing. Um, we also see um, big popularity that has increased in hunting coyotes, and I, I don't think there's as many people probably trapping them as there were at one time, but a lot more people are hunting them than used to be. So I, I think it's, it's sort of a combination of coyotes becoming better and better at, at taking advantage of um, the changes that we've made to the landscape and, you know, learning how to capitalize and live in an urban environment too.